Hello and welcome to another Overlord Lore video and today we are going to take a look at Einzulgon's actual master plan, because he actually got one. But before we are doing so let me thank my patrons for supporting this channel. Now first and foremost, Eins is not really known for his long term strategic planning in general, and in general he was surprised that he apparently accidentally ordered the Great Tomb to take over the world. And he only accidentally told Demiurge that he plans 10,000 years ahead, because he said a quiet thought out loud. Hence why after the 11th novel, the 10,000 year master plan had become a meme. But while all of this is true, the overlord of Nazarick pursues an actual long term master plan of his own, Project Utopia. And it is quite successful thus far. Eins just after arriving quickly realized how hostile the new world could be, that humans, not only humanoids, but beings of the same species, fought and killed one another with vicious brutality. But there are also many other fantasy species with distinct biology, food, temper, culture and outlook on the world. And before the six great gods appeared humanity was almost extinct because how frequently it became dinner. Brutish ogres live in the forest and can batter an unarmed human to death with ease. Sneakly goblins can steal food supplies and also are more than able to kill a human, especially in the dark. Great dragons are living in the mountainous regions, planning to fight and subjugate the ice giants before they would be defeated and enthralled by them in return and the undead hostile to life spawn in places that had seen great death and destruction in order to spread it to the rest of the world. The elves, dwarves and many different versions of humankind are all belonging to one single major category of life, humanoids, and they are behaving cruel and viciously to one another. And the beastly demi-humans and the great many variety of heteromorphs are an entire different branch of life. So given all of this contrast, is coexistence and peace even possible? This is the question that Eins wanted to find an answer to, hence why he started Project Utopia. And Eins had been very thought and careful about his project's implementation. In the initial phase he gave the order to the Dark Elf Twins to find and maintain the life of non-humanoid species from the outside that didn't need conventional food, hence why the first outsiders to be brought into the Great Tomb of Nazarick in order to live there were trans, basically animated trees and dryads, tree spirits, so stealthy they could even hide from Aura's advanced perception skills. And after the initial phase worked out, and after Kokaitis saved the Lizardman quite literally from himself, Ten longhouses were constructed for them to live in the newfound village at the sixth floor. And due to the clearing in the thick forest, this place became known as Green Hole. By the way, this is also a very interesting and neat little piece of world building, since normally villages wouldn't be known by how they looked from above. It's a really nice illustration of perspective, done with just a name. Anyway, back to topic. The place was kept very fertile and became an agrarian idol due to Mars magic, which continuously dominated the village and for example replenished the soil's fertility, making it extremely rich and bountiful. And after the many different races were able to coexist peacefully with each other and after Irantel and the land surrounding it had been conquered, this very concept of coexistence in peace and plenty had become the central policy of Eins Ulgon's reign, and while the means to achieve such peace can at times be cherishly be described as annihilationist in essence, the peace and quiet that comes from it is always assured. And all of this is Eins Ulgon's very own decision, and his end goal is to create a nation known for its peace and plenty. In short, he wanted to build something to impress any would-be player that could find his way to the Sorcerer Kingdom. And this outcome wasn't always assured. In fact, it's a small miracle that Eins hadn't been 
persuaded by one of his many minions to do something else with the conquered lands. For example, Lupus Regna being the cheerful outgoing kind person that she is, wanted to turn the entire place into a farm, where its denizens are exploited like pigs, giving everything they possibly can before dying in agony. But the floor guardians and virtually everybody else, with the exception of the few good-natured beings like Sabas, Shizu or Yuri Alpha, pursue a different purpose behind all of this, to albedo Demiurge and everything and everyone else, more on the evil side of karma. It's a zoo at best, and a clever ruse at worst. A brilliant betrayal set up by the mastermind that is Eins, meant to lull the entire world into a false sense of security, in order to catch it, and especially any players entering it, off guard, before striking with the element of surprise, in order to overwhelm and then overtake and brutally dominate the entire new world, with just one brilliantly executed move. And many more not so brilliant executions following shortly after. So this is one of the absolute rare cases where Ein Sulgon is really so far ahead in his thoughts and plans that neither Albedo nor Demiurge could possibly understand what Ein Sulgon was really trying to do. And I personally think this is quite neat. And with that said, I say thank you very much for watching and special thanks to Dash 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 Almighty Dio Betga Yi Ben C Chrissy Sia Death is Mercy Dystopia Dystopia the Second Feral Shivan Guy with Dead Head Hector Marino Hoss Huster Jacob G Jana B, Jason, Kratos, Chromius, Legendarius, Lelouch V. Britannia with a Mustache, Lexus Fox, Lord Nishikian Rai, Lord Touch Me, Matthew, Mr. Schuss, Michael R., Michael Y., O'Kill, Paddy Pantom, Primus Eleven, Shadow Lightning Wolf, Shrine Keeper, Texas Deer, The Orc Warboss, Rock at Smasher, T.E. Vang, The Shark Eye, Venture Fanatic, Wave of Manga, Wilhelm, and Zonagon. Thanks, guys. Anyway, have a nice day, and I hope to see you all again soon under my next video.